Hey guys, I just got a package from Saber Flux. Uh, Christian Castro sent me a lightsaber and I wanted to film a little unboxing video for you. So let's uh, check out this guy and see how this works. Let's get a little zoom in on this opening. Want to be careful not to mess up any of the saber inside. Ooh, the anticipation is mounting. So he makes lightsabers that are balanced for contact. Uh, so you can roll them around your body like a contact sword. We've been in touch for a while now. He's actually helped me out with his uh, with my TikTok because he is real good at making TikToks. Spot. And he's a great guy. So after chatting for a while, the last few months, I finally got my own Saber Flux lightsaber. So here we go. Oop, is there one less piece? There we go. Ooh. All right, take this out nice and slow. Looks like it comes with a little charger in there. Bubble wrap, all right. Set that guy to the side. And let's see, let's start with the hilt. So you can see it's extra long because that's where the balance point comes in. So you can do contact to work with it. And there you go. He hand tools all of the metal. So he uh, starts with a uh, raw aluminum tube, I believe, and uh, shapes it all by hand, tools it all by hand, and uh, does, puts it all together with, it looks like a 3D printed knob at the end, a little added weight right there. So just holding the saber, that's about where it balances. And as you can see, I'm guessing that white tape right there is gonna be the center mark once I add in the blade. So let's check this guy out. Ooh. All right, super lightweight. Yeah, feels good. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of uh, some, some plastic inside. I'm guessing that's gonna make it illuminate a little better and disperse all the light once it's inside. Let's see. Seems like there is a uh, little Allen wrench. So I might have to go grab an Allen wrench key to make sure that it stays in place. So we'll see if this slides right in and if not, I'll, whoa, starts to turn on already. Yeah, I might have to go get a little Allen wrench key. So after looking a little closer, I realized that Christian includes a little Allen wrench with your USB charger. So all you have to do is take the provided Allen wrench, loosen up this screw right here a little bit be sure not to lose it, not to pull it out all the way and let it drop, but you want it to be open there for the blade to slide right in. Got it in there nice and snug. Get a good connection with the LED inside. It makes the light and tighten this bad boy back up. I don't think you want to go too tight because you could possibly, you know, put a little dent in it. Um, you also want it to be able to take out if you want to travel. It can break in half and put it in a suitcase, something like that, or in a backpack to take to the park. And there you have it. Uh, this is the middle of the afternoon here, so it is very bright, but you can see, check it out, the button where you turn it on and off actually lights up blue when you turn it on. Super bright purple saber. I chose uh, purple because it's uh, one of my favorite colors. It's uh, the top spectrum in uh, rainbow. It's also uh, known as a ambiguous and mastered color among the Jedi. Uh, it has to do with uh, having ambiguous backgrounds of your training. So the people who yield, uh, well, wield purple sabers usually have both trained in light and dark forces. So that's kind of fun. Let's give it a little test. Oh yeah, fishtail feels good. Balance point is right here where he marked it on that center point. Let's try a little tip tail. Oh yeah, perfect balance. And now for the true test, just give it some tricks.
Nice, very nice. It's very lightweight, it's very solid. It doesn't have a lot of wobble to it. It feels really solid and smooth. Yeah, great Saber. So Saber Flux, they're the ones you wanna to go to to find this. Handcrafted, hand tooled, has a nice uh, 3D printed knob on the end. And if you pull this knob out, that right there is where you charge it. So I'll take it inside to the dark to show you, uh, let's charge it on up. As you turn it on, really cool. It is super bright. And this 3D printed knob that's in the back there slides right off. And as you can see, there's a little port. Take the supplied USB charger, goes right into there. And just plugs into any USB outlet. And another neat feature I just noticed is a, has a red light right inside there. You might be able to see it's lit up a little red. And also it can light up while you're charging. So that's kind of cool. If you want some ambiance in your room while you're charging. But for now, I'm gonna let this guy charge up and then uh, give it a try once it gets a little darker outside. Stay tuned for more videos.